Joseph Collins. I'm a Holly Collins, and this is Abram. During the night, one night, um, he woke us up with a really high fever. Um, after three kids, the highest fever we've seen, 105.9, I think at one point. So we were really alarmed. So we knew this wasn't a normal sickness. As soon as it was time for the pediatrician's office to open, we took him in. Uh, we've never been to the pediatrician when they've like said, no, you need to get to the hospital. So that, that was, yeah. that was scary. That was definitely scary. We ended up getting admitted to the hospital in Gainesville. I'm Dr. Densa, I'm the Chief of Pediatrics at NGHS. I was called from the office for an admission for a five-month-old for dehydration. And um, when the patient came in, I entered the room, I could see that the parents were very, very nervous, and I see the sweet little boy. I was able to reassure them that you know, we're not dealing with something that requires critical management. It can be very well managed over here. Parents are nervous when their kids come in. There's, you know, they're scared. There's something wrong with their kid. And we try to not only help alleviate fears of the children, but uh, the fears of the uh, parents and the family that bring them. I think the idea of going to the hospital was overwhelming, but before we ever left the like admission room, that's where we first talked with the doctor. She immediately kind of put me and I think Holly too at ease. Generally in these cases, you don't have to have a definitive diagnosis before you start treating the patient. He came in with dehydration, we started with IV fluids, and then the results followed the following day. They came in that morning and um, told us that he had salmonella bacteria in his stool. We still don't know how he got this or, or why, but um, he managed to, to get over it. And I think any time that there's a health scare with one of your kids, just you just you like to see him back to normal. Just it's good reassurance, and we were really grateful. We were ready to go home and sleep in our own beds for sure. The kind of care that we provide over here, I think, is very special. Um, we have three uh, board-certified pediatric MDs, and we have certified pediatric nurses. So in our community, if we have this service, it'll be great if we can keep our kids from going to peripheral hospitals, because the same or parallel care is available on our pediatric floor. Uh, the Northeast Georgia Pediatric Unit is honestly one of the best I've ever worked at. I would bring my grandkids here, and that says a lot. I would bring them here without batting an eyelid because I know they would get the best possible pediatric care. It's great to know we have a pediatric unit like that this close to home. Hopefully we don't have to use it again anytime soon, but it is great to know that we received really great care, and um, we're very happy that we chose Northeast Georgia Medical Center.